me now is Harash Gregorian. He's director of the International Peace and Conflict Resolution Program at American University. Uh, for those who've been following this for some time, I, I can remember even back in 1989, Senator Bob Dole was a proponent of, of legislation and was really trying to push it through. He had a doctor who was Armenian who had escaped the genocide, who told him the story. He was very passionate about this. I mean, we're looking at 30 years later. What happened this time around? Well, I think what's most remarkable is the number of um, representatives who, who voted on this uh, in favor, uh, over 400. I mean, when do we get that kind of, uh, and I think um, a number of factors uh, affected the vote this time around. One, of course, was um, the, the invasion of, of Syria, which had a profound impact on uh, a number of representatives. The second one was the administration's response uh, to that, which uh, frankly uh, gave them a, a green light. And I think uh, those factors together convinced the Congress that it had to make a statement um, that this was not the way the U.S. goes about uh, conducting its foreign policy. And we all know how this works in, in, here in the United States. Maybe perhaps our viewers outside of the U.S. may not be that familiar. Of course, it passes the House, then it goes to the Senate. Right. If it gets through the Senate, then uh, Trump can sign it or not sign it. Right. Those are hurdles. Where do you see things going from here? Um, I'm not certain that it'll, uh, it has uh, support in the Senate, to be sure. That's uh, Resolution 150. And um, it, will, it may get through the Senate, again, it's, it's more symbolic. It's not, it's, a, it's, a, it's not necessarily going to affect policy. And I wouldn't be surprised if the president vetoed it. Uh, but at the same time, having these numbers uh, in terms of passage is extremely important. It's symbolically very important, both for the United States, uh, but also for, for Turkey and, and, and the region. It's interesting, you, you mentioned he, he may veto it. Uh, back in 89, I brought up the Dole example. Uh, George W. Bush was president at the time, did not want it. This is a NATO ally. Is right. that still kind of what the big, I guess, sticking point is? Right. Uh, I think the, the, it is, in fact, U.S. geostrategic interests that affect um, uh, most presidents uh, or, or, or foreign policy establishments response to that. Um, and uh, NATO is a significant member of the alliance. But the way Congress sees it, what is that membership worth to us uh, these days, given its behavior in the region, given its behavior uh, internally? Uh, I don't think it's a very popular regime. Certainly, the Turkish people uh, have, uh, if they had their voice, would, 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 would not necessarily uh, support this regime. Um, so I think that uh, geopolitics has been the, the reason that they've gotten a kind of a free pass on this. Erdogan, of course, not happy about this. Uh, the Turkish government has bristled at this in the past as well. The uh, foreign minister called this a meaningless political step and an attempt to rewrite history. So many years have passed since 1915. Why is it so difficult for this country to acknowledge what happened during that period of time, do you think? Well, there are legal implications, there are financial implications, there are political implications. Uh, no country uh, 100 years after um, um, this type of event wants to admit to having committed what qualifies as genocide. Um, and there, you know, there, there could be all kinds of ramifications for Turkey if in fact it did. But uh, it's the old adage about uh, justice delayed is justice denied, and the, the, the denial will not necessarily make this issue go away. If anything, it continues to, to grow and, and expand, particularly amongst Armenians and others, by the way. Uh, Greeks were uh, affected, Maronites, Assyrians. Uh, uh, so there are more than the 1.5 million Armenians that were that were affected or killed by this uh, act. Uh, there are 2.5 in total. It, it reminds me a lot of the comfort women struggle. I mean, so many years later, uh, it's kind of similar in the sense of the acknowledgement, but it's so great to have you on the broadcast. Really appreciate it. Thank you.